Hello, welcome back to Pick It to Make It or Hi. If you're new, I'm Katie. Today I am decorating my fitness or wellness planner. I'm going to use some of these stickers. I have left over. I purchased these a while ago from LTL Print House. Um, I do have an affiliate link with them. Um, it'll be listed down below, but I, like I said, I did purchase these myself. Oh, a long time ago, and I had them left over, so I figured I would use those. Um, I was just kind of looking at some washi tape. I really want to incorporate a little washi tape. I also have this black and white that would kind of look, I don't know if it's too much black and white, maybe layered. So I think we'll use that. Um, I am not trying to... Um, like necessarily hit this hard and um, like do all the things. Like I'm not trying to exercise, I, I don't know. I'm Right now I'm really focusing on, oh my gosh, I, there's like this giant eyelash that is like stuck, it doesn't want, it doesn't want to go away you guys. Um, anyway, that I am really focusing a lot on like, what I'm eating right now um, and trying to limit the snacking. I'm like really doing some some baby steps. Also, it is still really cold here. It's today, um, when I'm filming this, it's actually Tuesday the 25th because I happen to be off work. So that's usually when I film because I do work 12 hour shifts. So that's kind of just how, how it works. So I'm a little, a little behind the eight ball this week, but that's okay. Anyway, it is, um, like 35 out it was snowing it was raining it was slushing it's doing all the disgusting like winter weather that I'm really over so for me going outside and doing any kind of exercise or going for a walk because it's spring it, no that is not happening um now once we actually get that lovely spring weather yes I 1000% will be all in for that um, and especially the summer if you guys know if you follow me we have a pool I love to be in my pool I love it so that um, that will also be happening that's like a good way for me to exercise in the summer I will swim my laps and things like that but um, yeah not in the winter it's it's hard so for me my biggest downfall is my snacking. I eat my meals are usually pretty healthy, um, to be completely honest. So that I don't have, um, like I'm not too concerned with currently. It's the snacking. Y'all, I have a sweet tooth. So I'm trying, trying, trying to do better. Um, I think that can go there, but we definitely want, I like the, pale like kind of beigey pink layered with this black and white script and the florals so I think we will kind of keep up with that um but yeah so that is that is where I am at in this this wellness journey it has not been perfect I did have um some popcorn with some m and sprinkled in it last night but I feel like a little bit is okay. I just need to not be super snacky um, all the time, all day, you know, things like that. So um, I think I want to offset that just slightly. And I think I want a little bit of this to cover down here. I just like that little little bit of texture. Um, so if you have any healthy recipes or anything, let me know below. Um, what did we have last night? Oh, last night was breakfast for dinner, so I had scrambled eggs and a piece of sourdough toast. Pro I mean, not the healthiest dinner, but that was what my daughter wanted. I think tonight, because she has a soccer game, I think I'm probably just going to, and it's and because it's so cold and we're going to be outside watching said soccer game, um, we're all going to be freezing by the time we get home. So I think tonight we're just going to do sandwiches and soup really easy. I mean, I guess sometimes that can be the, the hard part of, um, of also trying to do a healthy journey. If you have ki busy, busy kids too, right? Like trying to 
eat somewhat healthy. And again, it's usually not the meals that are that are that bad for me. It's usually more the snacking. So we we're working on it. We're a work in progress. That is okay. Um I think I have that other floral, but I kind of think we're gonna put this here. But of course, with a little a little bit of washi tape. Um, I'm really trying to get back on track with planning. I feel like I say this all the time. I'm going to be honest as a working mom though. Um, this is usually, this usually comes last. You know, I have a job that I do that I need to do to pay the bills, right? And then, um, you know, my, my family also comes first and it has been, it has been busy. But um, Shelby will be signing with the college today to play soccer. So I'm super stoked for that. I'm very excited for her. And this next journey, I thought this was going to be the last year of soccer. And, um, as much as I don't like sitting outside in the cold, I love watching her play. I love being supportive, um, of her and, um, and both my kids, my son didn't, uh, do, well, he didn't do sports in high school. He did up until high school, and then he did robotics. But honestly, like going to his robotics meets and cheering him on and cheering my daughter on at soccer, um, some of my favorite memories of all time. I'm going to get real, I'm going to get sappy. I'm going to make myself cry. But um, I just, I love being a mom. It is the best job of my life. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't know. I feel like a couple times lately I've gotten emotional in these videos. I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> it's it's been like the best job of my life being being a mom to these kids. And um, yeah, so I'm excited that that soccer is going to continue a little bit. And I know I'm not going to be able to make I'm sure all her her college games, um, just because you know some of them some of them will be away. Um, although that honestly may not stop me. I would probably get a hotel just to, just to go watch <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, because I'm, I just, you know, that's just the kind of mom I am, I guess. I'm, I'm a, kind of a, a lunatic like that. I kind of want to put this in the corner. So we're going to cut that, even though this corner isn't completely straight, I think think we can kind of make it work like that there we go sorry now I'm going to be all snotty because I got a little teary I got a little little emotional because my babies but I feel like if any of you are moms you can you can also relate especially as your kids get older you know when you're younger you're like or when the kids are younger you're in the thick of it and it's so hard to think about you know, you're just kind of going through, at least I was being a working mom, like getting through day to day and like sur survival, <laughs> you're on survival mode. And then you get to this point, I think where I am, where it's, you know, you're kind of getting to the end of that road. Not that like, I think like, oh, my daughter's graduating high school and she's not going to need me. No, I, my son has graduated high school and, but they, they just need you in different ways and, and less. And so it's just, um, yeah, it's just very different. So just so bittersweet. This is the season of life I'm in. So I'm sorry if I bore you guys to death talking about this. <laughs> Let me know down below. Um, but this is, this is just where I am in my life. This is the stage I'm in. And, um, you know, if you're in this stage too, let me know. I know some of you, some of you, um, are past this stage even, you know, you have maybe your kids are adults. Um, so I know, I know you get it. And if you have younger children, I'm sure if you're like me, even thinking about them being older, you're you also can get it because you can very quickly like put yourself in that bittersweet place of oh my gosh you know your your kids are getting older and things are changing but it's it's good it really is all all for the best anyway what else work has been weird um I love being a hospice working in hospice um 
it's been kind of a weird slow time there's some transitions with this company so um, just kind of seeing where where everything kind of ends up um, you know hopefully hopefully all good things but um, it's not to say like some some things haven't been different or challenging so <sighs> I'm just waiting for things to kind of calm down with that a little bit and hopefully we'll get to be on the other side. So I did manage to use all these stickers, which is lovely. Um, and I do like how simple this is. It's just very clean and simple. And I really like that. Um, like I said, I haven't really been exercising. Hopefully as it warms up, I'll get out. Like usually I'll go for walks and stuff. And then obviously once we open the pool, but I really want to, before we get to pool weather, just get outside, whether it's even like working in the garden or doing stuff in the house, like around the house, like that's just movement. Um, that's not my focus though. My big focus, like I said, is my food. So I've been kind of filling, oh yeah, you can see I've kind of filled that out on the other side. So that's all. I'm just kind of tracking and trying to be accountable to myself because I think sometimes too with me personally, I know, um, I mindlessly eat. I eat out of boredom and from emotion and when I'm not always hungry. And so really like kind of trying to capture that and recognize that will help to stop it. So look at also a sticker. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. Um, again, if you want any stickers from LTL Print House, they, uh, there'll be an affiliate link down below as well. Um, as this is a happy planner planner, there is also an affiliate link down below. As always, I appreciate your support. Um, it helps, helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys are having a great week planning your best life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.